Look who's home. Hi, honey. So Jackal just got home today. We picked him up about uh, maybe an hour ago now, and he was so excited to see Mommy and Auntie Brooke. Yeah, I missed you. You guys, he looks so much better, and he is acting just like himself. Auntie Brooke even got him a new toy. Go ahead and show you. It's just like this little, he loves it. It's like this little <coughs> rabbit, but it's, <laughs> he wants to play with it. Okay, well, it's like this little squeaky toy rabbit, but um, oh, let me look. It's one of the yoga hound toys, and they each have like different tiers of little lotus flowers, and the one that Jackal got was Fearless for the pup who is bold, brave, and courageous. So it was very fitting for the occasion, thanks to Auntie Brooke. Yep, she came over. Aww. He was so excited to be home. He ran to like every bed, every blanket, and laid in it and smelled it. And even when we were driving and got close to home, he was really excited, like looking out the window. It was so precious. So for right now, he's acting like himself, which is good. He loves his new toy. And of course, little Avril got a new toy as well. Let's go show him. She got a new, a new rope. Where's your toy, Jackalberry? Yeah, good boy. Are you so happy to be home? They also did blood work before we picked him up just to see if his levels went down at all. Um, so his levels are still elevated, but they are not as high as they were. So we are making progress. He stayed there for two nights. So. Yeah, he was there for two nights, a couple days, and they said he was responding really well to the medications and the fluids. She said some of the levels, we won't see any improvement for like three months. So he goes back the beginning of April to have his blood drawn again and check his levels then. But unless he doesn't do well, then he will be going in sooner. She said that the next 48 hours will tell us a lot about what's going on. Because if in the next 48 hours he doesn't improve and he goes back to not eating, not drinking, acting lethargic, all those things that I was seeing before, then he has to go back in and we're going to have to come up with the game plan because that could mean some sort of like liver failure or liver damage, something like that, which I am fingers crossed, hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping the next 48 hours he continues to improve. Right now he is acting like a brand new dog. He's acting just like Jackalberry, really happy, energetic, barking, like he's been doing great. So the vet was kind enough to send me home with some of his wet food that they had him on, which is the prescription diet veterinary exclusive. And this is the chicken wet food. They said he really, really liked this. So they sent me home with a bunch of this and it's with chicken and Jackal loves chicken. So I'm sure he's really, really gonna like that. So I will keep him on this wet food and he is on a lot of different meds. So tomorrow he will start this one. This is a chewable tablet for liver support. So he starts that tomorrow. And he's also on this little med with your sodial, your sodial, I think it's called. He starts that tomorrow. And then he is also on amoxicillin as well. So he looks so good. Hi, honey. Yeah. Yeah, he's currently like licking the little area where his IV was. You can see that they they shaved it a little bit right there. So I'm sure it's really itchy and irritating. But so far, so good, right, Jackalberry? Yeah, Mama missed you. Good boy. Did you miss your brother? <coughs> nice strong bark. <coughs> you sound good. There's nothing else. You're nice and strong. So far, so good. I will um, vlog again in a little bit and see how he's doing later on. But yeah, so far it's a happy day. Right, Jackalberry? Yeah, you were so excited to see mommy. See, mama didn't abandon you. Yeah. Did you miss your blankie? Hey, 
Hey, will you shut up? Did you miss your blankie and your toys? Yeah, good boy. <laughs> yes, I missed my boy. Hey guys, just a little bit of an update. It is now, sorry my eyeliner's all messed up. I haven't been crying, I swear. Uh, it's about quarter to four now. I just fed them. I asked if they were hungry and Jack ran right to the kitchen like he always does and I gave him about half a can of that wet food because they did say that he ate quite a bit yesterday so I didn't know how hungry he would be. So I just gave him half and he ate the entire thing all by himself. He finished it, he even licked his bowl and that is excellent, like that's perfect. It'll be interesting tonight when I give him the amoxicillin because I have to give that to him by syringe. I've never had to do that before so hopefully it goes well. Jackal is a lot easier to manage when it comes to things like that. Avril is just a pain in my ass when it comes to anything so I'm sure Jackal will take it just fine but yeah so far so good. I will let you guys know when it is time for medicine and fingers crossed it goes good but he's been home for a few hours now and so far so good so yay. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. You're gonna love this. <laughs> yeah. Nice and warm, huh? Oh, good boy. Oh, clean. Doesn't it feel nice to be clean, Jackberry? Get all the stink off ya. Oh, and get your medicine. <laughs> what? He's like medicine, what? Mm. <laughs> oh, he loved this. Honey, want to go have the zoomies? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> what? Where's your toy? Where are your toy? You feel better, honey? Feel nice to be clean? Oh, you feel so soft. What's he doing? Where are your toys? Sleeping like a baby right
give Jack his medicine. Good boy. Success. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. It is January 3rd. It's about 10.30 in the morning right now. So, Jackal had a pretty decent night, um, except for the 5.30 this morning. He, he ran downstairs, and I thought that was weird because I brought water for him upstairs, so he had no reason to go downstairs. And when he got downstairs, I followed him, and when I got down to the bottom of the stairs, he was having an accident by the front door. He was peeing, uh, which is very strange because Jackal is very well potty trained, so I thought that was kind of weird. Um, the vet did call me this morning and ask how he was doing, and I asked about like him having an accident, and he's on medic medication, and that could be the cause of it. Um, we went to the bathroom. This morning he had a little bit of a wetter poop, which I am don't know what that means. And um, I'm trying not to freak out, but when we came back inside, he I usually give them their vitamins. He's on Glandex Chewies for his anal glands, and Avril is on a supplement for her joints. So I usually give them that every morning after we go potty. And Avril took hers, but Jackal would not take his. So that's kind of concerning to me. He does have to go back in. It's more than likely some type of liver failure. And that's not good. So, <sighs> so I'm going to make myself some coffee and then I'm going to get his meds ready. But he's upstairs in his bed right now, which I don't know. I guess is normal. I don't know. It's just... So, I'm trying to be optimistic, but when he wouldn't take his vitamin, I, it's just not him, so, but I'm going to make coffee and give him his meds. Hey guys, so here to give you another update. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. So Jack won't eat. As you guys saw, he wouldn't take any of his medicine. I had to uh, basically shove it down his throat and make him swallow his pills. And I tried to feed him his wet food about an hour ago and he still wants nothing to do with it. I mean, he's it's weird because it's like he's acting normal, but at the same time he's not. So I don't even know like what to make of it. And it's weird because the vet called me at like 10:30 and he was fine and I was like, "Yeah, like everything's going good. Like he's doing great, blah blah blah." And then an hour later he started acting weird again, like not eating. You know, he didn't even want his wet food. So I don't know what to do at this point. Um, he's taking a nap right now, which is fine. Yeah, so I think my sister might come over later and see him. My mom was just here. She spent some time with him. And 12 hours ago, he was playing and he was happy and we were having fun. And now it's just back to the same behavior. So I'm going to go lay down with him and spend some time with him. And I will update you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Saturday, January 4th. It is about five minutes to four o'clock. And sorry about my appearance. I have literally, I can't even remember the last time I wore 
makeup makeup. I'm looking a little rough, all right? I've been staying up, I've been taking care of a little guy. You guys an update because the last clips that you guys saw, he wasn't doing too well. He wasn't eating, drinking, playing, nothing. And I am, again, super happy to report that he did like a complete 180 overnight. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but he did so well and he's been doing well all day. Last night he ate all of his food. Granted, he didn't eat all of it at once. He ate like a little bit of it, like he would eat off of my finger and then he didn't want any more. So, and when we went to bed, me and my sister, I brought his food, the rest of it upstairs. So I left his food in case he wanted any and at about four o'clock in the morning, we woke up and found him eating the rest of his food. So that is really good. He did also drink a lot of water throughout the night as well, which is also really good. Um, his urine is back to being a nice normal yellow color, not super dark like it was. We woke up, we went to the bathroom, everything was normal. Uh, came inside, he took his vitamin, he took his medicine, everything. He has been doing so well and at about one o'clock he ate, which I will insert that clip right now. He ate a good amount. Oh, there he goes. Good boy. That's so yummy. Good boy. He has been drinking water, but not as much water as he should be drinking because I'm sure he still has quite a bit to flush out um, in his gallbladder situation. So what, what I've been doing is I've been taking right here, the one that they use in the vet. This is the one that I use for his antibiotics as well. So after I give him his antibiotics, I rinse it out really good and then I fill this whole entire thing with water and like little increments at a time, I've just been shooting water in his mouth so he can get more and more and more water because the more hydrated he is, the faster his gallbladder is going to be flushed out. And I can tell he feels better when we do that. So it's been really, really helpful. I just have like a big thing of fresh purified water right here. And I've just little by little been giving him bits of this. I also do have like a turkey baster that my vet suggested to give him even more water, but he's definitely more scared of this. I hate how this leaks. And we'll try again in a minute. And it's actually time for him to have a little bit more water. Um, he, he doesn't like it, but once he realizes that it's water, he's, he's, totally okay. he's totally okay with it. So he has been taking little naps on and off. So I'm just gonna give him some more water. Right on in. I'm just going to fill that up with water. Oh yeah, that's all I've been doing for him, just every once in a while giving him some water. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to update you guys on for now. Uh, if anything changes, I will definitely post another vlog very soon about all of his updates. I am thinking that the next time I take him to the vet, which might be Monday, I might start him on some fluids at home because obviously I can't, I can't be here and shoot water down his throat all day, I do eventually have to go back to work. So I do want to get him on some sort of fluids that he can be on to help continue to flush out his system. That way his meds can start working better and faster. And another thing that I did want to tell you guys about, and I'm usually kind of ashamed at this sort of thing because I'm someone who is very stubborn and I don't like to ask for help when it comes to this kind of thing, but I did set up a GoFundMe for Jack. 
If you guys are interested in just checking it out, donating either $1, $100, like whatever, whatever you have helps. I will put that link down in the description box and in the comments as well. I would just really appreciate it if anyone out there could possibly help me keep Jackal with his checkups, his meds, and his fluids and all that good stuff. It would be greatly appreciated. Again, you definitely do not have to donate anything. I don't want to pressure anybody. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your kind, loving words. Thank you so much for all of your support for me and for Jackal Berry. I'm sure he, he really appreciates it. I'm sure he feels the love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like I said, if I have any more updates for you guys, I will let you know all of that. So make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up and give some good well wishes to Jackal. We will see you guys very soon in our next vlog. Love you guys.